Hello, all the family and friends. It's wonderful to connect with you again this week. I uh, just wanted to give a, a couple of insights as to what's coming this next Sunday um, and, and some changes that we're having uh, here. If, if you didn't uh, notice last week, um, our services are now starting at 9.30 in the morning uh, instead of 10 o'clock with Sunday school for, uh, for our children. And actually our oldest class is also uh, starting to meet with sun, for Sunday school. So uh, we welcome you to join us either online or in person. Um, on Sundays at, at 9.30. So uh, we welcome you into this space, however you would like to uh, engage in worship with us. I uh, want to share a little bit about what we're going to be looking at this Sunday. Uh, we're continuing our study in First, uh, First John. And we're going to be looking at chapter 3. Uh, we're going to take on this whole chapter. We're not quite going to go verse by verse like we've been. Um, we'll highlight some spots and then we'll jump into a, a couple of different areas. But one of the sections that we're going to look at is 1 John 3, uh, verse 16 uh, and, and beyond a bit. And it says this, This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue. And I wish it would say here, not only with words or tongues. We need to love with our words and with our tongue. Um, but he says, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. This then is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. So this is one of the sections we're going to come in, and this is a hard step for us in our faith. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll jump into this a little bit more on Sunday, but this is our, we, we've been talking about this fellowship with God and Jesus, fellowship with our brothers and sisters, um, living in right relationship, right? Uh, last week we talked about abiding, uh, resting in God's presence, spending time there and, and letting us, letting his presence send us uh, the Holy Spirit to, to receive and, and guide us. Well, this here, this part here is the next step, the next phase. And this is one of the hardest steps, I think. We can read the Bible. We can spend time in prayer and quiet time meditating over and receiving his love. But then this next part to actually take that step to, uh, to action and to pursue uh, the, the love and, and well-being of, of our community, of a brother or sister in need, um, this, is, um, this is a hard step. We can talk about it. We talk about it in Sunday school. We talk about it at church. You know, we can talk and talk and talk about all these wonderful ideas, but then taking the step to actually move, that's a hard step. And so we're going to jump more in this, uh, into this this week so that we can, can get out of our seats, get out of our, um, get out of our houses and, and move into our community and see where there are places of need and see where there are places of hurt and pain and, um, and a lack of, of things and see where, where we can use what God has blessed us with, that we can use it for, uh, for his ministry um, beyond just coming to church on Sundays. That says one thing, it says a whole nother thing when we leave here and we impact and we engage uh, our community, um, not just with our words, but with our actions. Hope you all have a wonderful week and I look forward to connecting with you on Sunday.